Welcome to Squawk 7000's Roundup of Aviation News from Ireland, brought to you in partnership with FlyingInIreland.com and Pilot.ie for the week starting October 23rd. Remember, you can ask your smart speaker to play any of our episodes anytime. I'm Michael Cummin. The headlines this week. The 2023 Kinsale Aviation Festival takes place with Irish Airlines past, present and future as the theme. The Aviation Industry Awards return after a break with the shortlist announced. AirNav Ireland launches as an independent air traffic management provider. The UK Civil Aviation Authority and IAA collaborate on aviation safety enforcement. And Fly4 Airlines prepares for entry into the aviation industry with an Irish focus. The 2023 Kinsale Aviation Festival takes place on Saturday, November 25th next. This year's theme is Irish Airlines past, present and future. And it will consist of a lecture and panel conversation about the airline industry's history in Ireland and its prospects. The festival takes place between half past three and half past five and will be followed by dinner at half past seven. Earlier, I spoke with Paolo Massolini and asked him about this year's event. Paolo, thank you for joining us on Squawk 7000. Kinsale has etched out a little corner for itself in the world of aviation and the Aviation Festival returns on the 25th of November. Can you tell us more? Yes, Michael, this is, this is the third Aviation Festival we are uh, holding and it takes place on last Saturday of November. We found that that's the weekend that it's that uh, isn't much happening. And then this year, we're having it at the uh, Acton's Hotel, and we hope to attract about uh, 130 people. So that's grown since the first one that I went to, which was uh, a nice and small and very, very uh, compact group. So it's getting a good reputation. Sure. The first one you went to was at the Yard Club. Mm -hmm. The second one you went to was at the Yard Club, all with about 50, 60 people, I think. So yeah, this one, this one, we can double it to 130 people. And then followed by a dinner at Acton's. And now every time you run the festival, you have a, a, a theme or a focus. At one stage, it was women in aviation. This year's theme is Irish Airlines past, present and future. Correct. It's, uh, and it's through Joe Gill. Um, he is uh, he instrumental in setting the thing up and speaking. And uh, it's all about uh, Irish aviation, past, present, future. And uh, Joe will have uh, three people or four people talking as well, uh, guest guest speakers. One gentleman is from the uh, Irish Historical Aviation uh, Foundation. And uh, I think one lady is from uh, Dublin Airport. And there's another, another gentleman from also Dublin, and I think he's involved in AT, uh, also AT, uh, ATC. But uh, that's Joe, Joe's department. He's very well connected and he's an excellent speaker and he's got some good people lined up. Yeah. You also take an opportunity at this festival to recognize uh, people's contribution to aviation. And uh, this year, probably not a surprise, at the uh, Heli 60 for the Irish Air Corps. That's right. As for our next thing, as the Irish Air Corps, we are going to give them a, a award of valor to the Irish Air Corps after 60 years. So that will be duly handed over to them on the evening. And they'll be there as well. But again, for my research, it's all to do with Irish aviation, promoting and exposing Irish aviation. It's always been my modus operandi. And again, we'll give final details as well, Paolo, to, to the, if people do decide they'd like to go, there's two options. They can go to the presentation yes. only for 15 euros or for the dinner yes. at Acton's as well and the presentation for 55. Where can they find out more information? You can uh, access the website, flyingpoet.ie. On the opening page, on the bottom, you'll find the link to the uh, uh, festival. Well, we wish you all the very best. The date, once again, is November 25th uh, this year uh, in Actions Hotel, and it all kicks off at 3.30 in the afternoon. So a nice afternoon event with the opportunity for yes. dinner later on. Paolo Massolini, thank you so much for joining us on Squawk 7000. Thank you, Michael. Absolute pleasure, as usual. Thank you. And as Paolo mentioned, at this year's event, the 2023 Aviation Valor Award will be presented to the number three operations wing of the Irish Air Corps to honour 60 years of helicopter service, focusing heavily on aeromedical and search and rescue missions. Launched in 2014, the Aviation Industry Awards are the benchmark for excellence for those demonstrating best practices and innovation in the aviation sector in Ireland. The awards return this year after a few years break and the ceremony will be held at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Santry on the 30th of November. 
The shortlist has been published on aviationawards.ie and includes the General and Sport Aviation Award shortlist. Finalists include Funfly Aerosports Aero Club, Galway Flying Club and the Leinster Gliding Centre. AirNav Ireland, the new organisation responsible for managing air traffic in Irish airspace, was officially launched by Mr Jack Chambers TD, the Minister of State with Aviation Oversight. This significant event coincided with World Air Traffic Control Day. AirNav Ireland is responsible for providing air traffic control services at major Irish airports including Dublin, Cork and Shannon and overseeing an expansive airspace spanning 455,000 square kilometres. A key role for AirNav Ireland is managing air traffic between North America and Europe with their air traffic controllers at the North Atlantic En Route Centre in Shannon efficiently handling over 90% of all aircraft operating in this crucial airspace. Additionally, the AirNav Ireland North Atlantic Communications Centre in County Clare offers a long-range, high-frequency radio HF communication service for oceanic air traffic control in the eastern part of the North Atlantic. The UK Civil Aviation Authority and the IAA will collaborate to help stop illegal public transport flights and other breaches of aviation safety laws and regulations. The two regulators have signed a declaration of cooperation, strengthening ties on enforcement and improving aviation safety. Together, they'll promote compliance with laws and encourage safe air operations by UK and Irish operators in and between the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Fly4 Airlines is a fresh entry into the airline industry, brought to life through a collaboration between Enterair, a Polish airline, and travel group TUI. The primary mission of Fly4 is to deliver dependable and high-quality capacity solutions to various customer airlines, including TUI, Enterair and third-party clients. Based in Ireland, Fly4 is securing the necessary certificates and licences for operation within the country. Their fleet will consist of Boeing 737-800 aircraft. The airline has already recruited captains, first officers and cabin crew for its expansion plan. Initially, the base of operations is expected to be in the UK Midlands. Notably, Fly4 is particularly interested in Irish pilots and is preparing to handle the transportation logistics to the UK location where the employees will work. While Fly 4's plans are in motion, they have yet to disclose a specific start date for their operations. Medairn has launched its brand new weather radar system at Shannon Airport, promising enhanced rainfall data for meteorologists and the public through Met.ie and the Medairn app. This cutting-edge weather radar marks the initial phase in Medairn's ambitious 10-year plan to revamp and expand the National Weather Radar Network. Over this period, the number of radar installations will triple, increasing from 2 to 6. These strategically located radars will ensure comprehensive coverage nationwide, leading to more accurate weather forecasting. The radar boasts an impressive 240km radius, with its coverage extending to the Atlantic. What sets the new weather radar in Shannon apart is its state-of-the-art dual polarisation technology. This innovation empowers meteorologists to make finer distinctions between various types of precipitation, be it rain, hail or snow. Moreover, this technology excels in pinpointing and filtering out non-meteorological objects like birds and insects from the data. This breakthrough will enable MetAaron to issue more accurate and timely weather forecasts and alerts for significant weather events. Pilot Career Live, supported by Flying in Ireland, took place last Saturday at Crow Park in Dublin. The event was a must for anyone considering an aviation career or those who'd already started their journey and wanted to learn more. Visitors had the opportunity to visit a wide range of exhibitors who provided helpful advice on the various paths to a career in the industry. Whether they were interested in becoming an airline pilot, military pilot, helicopter pilot or air traffic controller, this event was for them. To complement the wide variety of exhibitions and exhibitors, there was also an exciting seminar programme from the biggest names in the industry, including Ryanair, AirNav Ireland, EasyJet, Aer Lingus and the Irish Air Corps. Ryanair has announced its Shannon Winter 23-24 schedule with 18 routes, including its new Faro and Liverpool routes. Ryanair will base one new Boeing 737-8200 aircraft at Shannon Airport for the winter of 23-24, bringing its total Shannon fleet to three. Shannon traffic is to grow to over 1.4 million passengers a year. Dublin-based carrier CityJet has finally sealed an alliance with Spanish airline Air Nostrum in a combination that the pair have been trying to thrash out for the past five years, which was grounded by the pandemic. The combination has led to the creation of the Strategic Alliance of Regional Airlines, SARA. The new SARA group will employ 2,500 people. A new passenger panel will meet with the CEO of Dublin Airport operator DAA to help identify services and facilities needing improvement. The new panel will meet with DAA CEO Kenny Jacobs and Dublin Airport Managing Director Gary McLean to provide feedback and suggest what they would like to see improved at the airport. 
It will be made up of members that represent Dublin Airport's diverse passenger base and be chosen through a competition on Dublin Airport's social media channels in the coming weeks. And we'll be back with more aviation news in just a moment. ASL Airlines Ireland has added its first A300 series aircraft on lease from DHL Express Germany as the logistics firm moves its entire A300 fleet from Air Hong Kong to European operators. The acquired plane was retired by the Cathay Pacific cargo subsidiary in August and ferried from Hong Kong International to Budapest for maintenance. It has since been re-registered as Echo India Lima Delta Delta and has yet to re-enter service for DHL Express in Europe. FedEx Express Europe announced plans to build a new state-of-the-art logistics facility in Dublin. Strategically situated in the Horizon Business Park south of Dublin Airport, the new facility will serve as the FedEx headquarters in Ireland and will combine critical operations, including a pickup and delivery station, aircraft operations, customs clearance teams and other essential back office functions. Acumen Aviation has announced that its camo business has successfully restored its de Havilland DHC-8 family approval issued by the IAA. The restoration of the DHC-8 Family Aircraft Series CAMO approval marks Acumen's continuing drive to secure the coverage and provision of comprehensive CAMO services that can be made available to meet growing customer requirements. The Irish Business and General Aviation Association, IBGAA, will welcome over 140 industry delegates to its second annual conference on November 1st this year, when it returns to Adair Manor in Limerick. Its formula, the combination of executive aviation and luxury tourism, returns with the topical agenda delivered by accomplished international and regional speakers. Ireland's Minister of State for Transport, Environment, Climate and Communications, Jack Chambers, will deliver the opening keynote. He'll be followed by Declan Fitzpatrick, Chief Executive of the Irish Aviation Authority, supporting the event. A £100 million revamp of Belfast International Airport, the biggest investment in its 60-year history, has been announced. The airport recently ranked as one of the UK's worst in a survey by consumer group Which, and will undergo a major refurbishment as part of a five-year revamp. It includes an overhaul of security, meaning liquids and large electrical items will no longer have to be removed from luggage. The investment plan announced by operator Vinci also includes an improved airside departure area with additional departure gates, extra seating, new shopping facilities and an extension of the retail and immigration areas. Well, the memory of a lovely summer day at Weston Airport when the skies came alive on Saturday, July 29th, remains fresh in the minds of those who were there. Aircraft and crew participating in the Bray Air Display dropped in for an unforgettable breakfast fly-in event, welcoming aviation enthusiasts who purchased tickets for a hangar breakfast prepared by the talented team from Hook and Ladder. The event received an overwhelming response, with attendees' generous contributions amounting to an impressive €25,000. These funds will join the collective grown by the aviation community for various St. Vincent de Paul conferences, exceeding now a remarkable milestone of €400,000. The fundraising continues in November with the launch of the 2024 Irish Air Spectacular Aviation Calendar, a beautiful 14-page A4 calendar that features stunning aviation photographs, some taken from the next edition of the Irish Air Spectacular Volume 2, which is on the way. Well, that's our news for this week and indeed for a while, as a new project will be taking my time for the winter. I'll be looking forward to being back with you again soon for more aviation news. And remember, we have over 150 episodes in the library for you to listen to. In the meantime, happy flying and thanks for listening.